Africa's had a relatively good decade by all accounts. Um, you know, sort of written off quite famously just over a decade ago as the hopeless continent. Uh, it's starting to generate a lot of interest for uh, its commercial potential, its social potential, its political potential. Uh, we, you know, we're seeing a lot of growth in Africa um, and have, have seen a lot of growth over the last decade. This growth is proving to be resilient. And uh, these days, if you spend some time on the Africa conference circuit and the Africa investment circuit, there's certainly a lot of optimism. Now, a lot of that is, is, uh, is well-deserved, uh, given the experience of the continent over the last 20, 30 years or so. Uh, but at the same time, there is, quite ironically, uh, a very real risk of some of this optimism being quite blinkered uh, and overlooking and um, kind of missing the uh, very real structural difficulties that Africa, and particularly Sub-Saharan Africa, continues to face. And the Africa Learning Barometer uh, really hones in on what is quite a central issue here that uh, African governments and businesses and, and Africa's international partners need to take very seriously indeed, and that is the, uh, the issue of education. Um, in, a, in a minute, Justin will go up and, and talk in more detail about the Africa Learning Barometer and give you some more of the data, but it makes for quite worrying reading. Uh, the numbers are, are, are quite shocking, uh, and uh, even in, in those countries that generally get a lot of good press and uh, sort of create a lot of excitement for, uh, amongst people, the, uh, the, the state of education is quite frankly appalling. And, we all know of the central role of edu that education plays in the development process, as Rebecca um, said just a couple of minutes ago. It's something that is very much in the heart of the global development agenda now, is being positioned at the heart. And when you look at any successful part of the world, any successful country um, that, 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 well, that has experienced successful development, education has been an indispensable part. So for anybody who's concerned with African affairs, looking at this issue of education is absolutely instrumental. Now, the data is certainly not positive, but that is not because this is um, supposed to send a negative message. Rather, what, it, what I hope it, it sends is, or what I hope it does is act as a wake-up call to say, look, yes, you know, things are looking up for Africa, but you cannot ignore these structural issues. If you do not look at these, then 15, 20 years from now, we're going to be in the same situation asking what went wrong.